So um, over to you, Becky and Jan. Uh, thanks, 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 Phil. Um, good evening, everyone. I just it's just been an absolutely fascinating evening, and and so it's been so inspiring to see how many um, different artists and creative people have have been inspired by Wordsworth and. Um, we're really pleased to be able to share with you tonight um, some um, a, a piece of music uh, that young people um, have created um, with a composer and um, some local local artists um, in a in a project that started off way back in 2017 um, with a conversation with Jeff. Um, and his team in the very old learning centre, which I gather now is staff room um, at, um, at Gr uh, Wordsworth Grasmere. Um, with Cumbria, our, our great partners, Cumbria Education Hub um, and, um, and Manchester Camerata Orchestra. Um, and the conversations were around how do we, we how, how, how do young people uh, convey um, their their inspiration uh, that they get from from the, the the actual place, as in as in where where um, William and Dorothy lived, but also the 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 Dudden Valley and and the environment more generally. And I think that's that's where it all began. Um, and um, um, it was a creative response, really, um, to being immersed. And there were a number of immersion days um, at at, um, at Dove Cottage. Um, Becky will tell you about um, the process. Um, there, we had 140 participants altogether, 29 workshops, all four schools involved, um, a professional orchestra and a pandemic. So I'll, I'll hand over to Becky now just to tell you a little bit about the process uh, before you can all enjoy um, the, the new piece of work. Good evening, everyone. Lovely to see you. Jeff, could we have the next slide, please? Thank you. So we started off at Dove Cottage, in fact, um, on rather a dank and dark autumn day back in 2019, um, where we had a group of young composers um, who came along for the day. We explored the poetry and the Dunn sonnets um, with Jeff and his team and looking at images of the river, drawing, drawing our own graphic scores and shapes of the river as well through the morning. Um, we had a tour of Dove Cottage just before it closed and actually I, I remember it being very dark and um, Catherine saying, well, this is actually quite how Wordsworth would have found it when they moved in. Um, and I think that kind of evocative feel of, of the empty cottage and the atmosphere of it, you know, just about to be lived in again, um, kind of permeated the project as, as the, they discovered their musical material. Um, and if, next slide, please, Jeff. Um, and we were working with local artist Dan Fox, who's a sound artist and does all sorts of interesting things with microphones, sounds, lights, um, etc. He took us on a sound walk. Um, so he had a clever bit of kit. We all had a pair of headphones and he has a variety of different um, microphones, hydrophones you can put in the river, um, ones to catch the sounds in the air, all sorts of things. So we went walked around Grasmere um, hearing um, what we could the environment around us. Um, I think the most favourite sound we found was a very tuneful and rhythmical drip in the water fountain, which is just across the road from um, Dove Cottage, which young composers were particularly interested by. Um, so we got back to Dove Cottage and then spent some time improvising. Um, everyone got their instruments out. Dan mixed the um, sounds we collected um, in real time with all the young musicians um, you know, improvising along and exploring those musical ideas, shapes of the river and everything. And that kind of improvisatory feel really um, permeated the rest of the creative workshops that we had. Um, so Dan then went on um, to work with students at Sandgate School in Kendall, which is a school for students with um, special educational needs. And we worked with a group who had profound and multiple learning disabilities. Um, so he took the collected sounds and played them to the young people um, and used an instrument called a sound beam that picks up very small changes in movement to change the sound. And he explored the sounds we collected with them and used those explorations. The sound beam has a beautiful solo moment in the piece. Um, so next slide, please, Jeff. Just keep flipping through them. You can see some images from all, all of our creative workshops. The young composers took 
words they particularly liked from the Dudden sonnets and explored their rhythm and their character and how they could represent them in music and how the kind of environment that they discovered in um, Grasmere came into that as well in terms of the atmosphere and the mood of the piece. Um, we also had three primary schools involved who were meant to be part of the final performance, um, but obviously with COVID that didn't quite happen yet, um, uh, which is why we have a film to share with you tonight. Um, so they did some work around poetry, around how they think about the environment that they live in and um, particularly like what Mike Wordsworth had thought about the environment he lived in, how they kind of connect that with their experience as young Cumbrian children now. Um, so I'm going to, that's a very whistle stop tour of our creative process and I'm going to hand back to Jan. Yeah, at, at the heart of it was a, was a group of, of, of young composers actually um, and one yeah, particularly young composer had been on a, on a similar journey with us four times over, over four different projects. So she was, she was quite an accomplished um, composer. So the plan was to have a large scale performance at Ambleside Parish Church um, in uh, April 2020 to coincide with Wordsworth's birthday. The young people wanted to celebrate that and also present their piece. But alas, the pandemic hit. Um, the, the piece uh, was finally completed on Zoom workshops. Uh, we took to Zoom and we completed the piece there. The young composers made a, a short birthday celebration for Wordsworth uh, to complete the the process in summer 2020. So it was like a, a, a kind of trailer. Um, 2021 came and unfortunately a large scale performance with the participants was not, not going to happen, but we were determined that it would um, and it was possible to record the performance at Ambleside Parish Church, which is what we did. Um, and the partners redesigned the project um, to produce a, a performance film, um, which we are uh, absolutely delighted to be able to share with you tonight.